Hi everybody, I'm Mike Zayner, Director of Product Management here at Martin Guitar. So your guitar is in need of a string change and what we're gonna do is walk you through step by step exactly how we do it here at the factory. What we're gonna be doing today is stringing it up using Authentic Acoustic Lifespan 2.0 strings. First thing you wanna do is make sure that you have a nice flat surface and you can see I have a neck rest and a guitar mat if you don't have these, these are available through the 1833 shop online. You're gonna need a pair of uh, snips, six inch steel rule, and a tuner. So one of the things we have at the factory is an electric string winder, which makes it really convenient uh, when you're doing multiple guitars, or just a, a handheld winder will work as well. So what we're gonna do is first loosen up all six strings. You're just gonna start with your low E string and work your way through all your bass strings and then come over to the other side to your treble strings. And then what we like to use at the factory, you can have a bridge pin puller, but what works really well is this six inch steel rule. You're just gonna go under the bridge pin and you're just gonna pop that up and you're just gonna remove your pins, set them off to the side. Now you're ready to pull all six of these strings out. So what we want to do here is I, I try to make sure that all the tuning machine holes are lined up in the same manner so when you go to put the new strings on, it's going to be much easier to lock them in place for the stringing process. So again, we're going to be stringing this D28 today with the Authentic Acoustic Lifespan 2.0 strings. Each envelope is labeled with what string it is in what cord. So it's gonna make it very easy for the installation. There's no two strings per package, just one string per envelope. What we're gonna do, we have the low E string. We're gonna uncoil that, put the string in, and take the bridge pin, and make sure that the notch of the bridge pin goes towards the saddle. You're gonna push down on the bridge pin, you're gonna pull up on the string, to really seat that ball in underneath the bridge pin. And we're gonna thread it right through the tuning machine hole. We're gonna give it enough slack so we get about two to three wraps around each tuning post. You're just gonna come underneath and we're gonna do what we call in the factory a traditional lock of the actual string around the tuning post. So there's a couple different processes you can go about trimming up the excess strings after you string each, each of them. Uh, I like to go along and just trim each one as I do it. What you want to do is you want to come in and you want to get as close to the tuning post as you possibly can. And you just wanna snip the excess off. Make sure you recycle any of the excess strings that you remove. What you're gonna do is do the remaining five strings in the same manner. You're gonna put each one on. All right, so we have all six strings installed. What we're gonna do is go ahead and give these each of these strings holding down, pushing down on the bridge pin, what you want to do is pull up and you want to give each string a good stretch. That way when you tune it up to pitch, it'll stay in tune a little bit easier. So you want to go through each one of these and just give it a good, a good tug. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll use our tuner, put it on the headstock, and then we'll tune each, each string to note. And lastly, the high E string. So this concludes the short video of how to change your strings. As you can see, it, it's very simple. Uh, it takes no time at all, and it's gonna keep your instrument sounding great and hours of enjoyment. Thanks for watching the video. Until next time.